I will be showing you all how to quickly get rubies in Minecraft Earth for completely free, and we are starting now. What's going on guys? My name is Stormranger, and welcome back to another Minecraft Earth videos. If this is your first time here, and you want to learn how to play Minecraft Earth, how to improve at Minecraft Earth quickly, and all other things related to Minecraft Earth, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Alright, so rubies are the in-game currency for Minecraft Earth, and are purchased through the store tab by using real currency. A single ruby in Minecraft Earth is valued at approximately 3 cents, with 40 of them being able to be purchased for 2 US dollars. The rubies serve many uses, with their primary being to purchase bill plates within the shop. Now these bill plates range in values, anywhere from $3.75 at 75 rubies to $18.75 at 375 rubies. Now since these bill plates are quite expensive, I will be going over how you can easily get them for free by using rubies acquired through simple in-game tasks. So rubies can be unlocked through two different methods. Number one, being through collecting tappables. Number two, being through completing challenges. I'll go over both these methods in this video, including how they reward you rubies and how you can utilize them to gain rubies quickly. Okay, so number one, by far the best method for gaining rubies, and this is to unlock rubies through collecting tappables. Surprisingly, this is a relatively efficient method, as tappables spawn everywhere, and there's about a 1 in 4 chance that you'll get a ruby per tappable that you collect. Because of this, after collecting about 80 tappables, which can easily be done within about 15 minutes, you'll get a dollar's worth of rubies. While that's not even close to minimum wage, it's still a fair amount of rubies for completing a task in a video game that takes you little to no extra effort to perform. Now earning rubies through this method is as easy as collecting a tappable whenever you see one pop up. As I mentioned before, tappables spawn everywhere. From my experience, they will pop up at new locations rather consistently. Within a span of only 10 minutes, the location whose tappables you've already collected would likely have a completely new set of tappables. So because of this, if you really want to grind tappables to gain resources and rubies, you could easily go for a walk, or if you want to go a bit faster, jump onto a bike, scooter, skateboard, or other means of transportation, and then collect tappables as you go around your neighborhood. Since tappables spawn most commonly in parks and other green areas, a local park or path around your neighborhood should have plenty of tappables. As an example, this open field a short walk from where I live may seem empty, but in fact, it has more tappables along with adventures than anywhere else in my neighborhood. Now, I believe tappables have predetermined spawn points, meaning that they can only spawn at predetermined randomly generated locations. So because of this, if one area has plenty of tappables, it will always have plenty of tappables. It also means that you should get to know where they spawn around your neighborhood so you can collect them at an efficient rate. And if tappables spawn where you live and you're able to access them from your house, be sure to collect them every few minutes. Perhaps if you're just watching TV, spend a minute or two every 15 minutes collecting tappables to make sure that you're maximizing the amount of rubies that you are collecting. Now of course, collecting tappables can get tedious. If you want a slightly less tedious way of gathering rubies, you should also use method 2, which is to complete your challenges. While on the home screen, your challenges can be accessed by clicking this sign, then by clicking the challenges tab. Here, you can see what all of your challenges are, which fall under the categories daily, weekly, career, and special event. Now challenges award the player XP and rubies. Unfortunately though, they only give you a few rubies, so this method should only be used as a bonus to the previous method. Now regarding what challenges to go to, the daily and weekly challenges will give you rubies. However, the career challenges unfortunately do not give you any rubies. Now regarding special event challenges, I am not entirely sure if they do give you rubies or not, as there have not been any special events yet as of the time of making this video, though I assume that in the future, they will. Now on the daily challenges, you can easily get 5 rubies a day for completing both of your daily challenges. And then in the weekly challenges, you can get an extra 15 rubies a week, 10 of them unlocked from completing your 6 weekly challenges, and 5 of them being unlocked from logging on each day of the week. Now while this method doesn't lead to an overwhelming amount of rubies, it's still important to be completing your challenges just to get the bonus few rubies. But overall, as long as you're using these two methods together, you'll be able to easily get enough rubies to purchase any build plate from the shop. Now if this video helped you out, and you want to learn more about how to play Minecraft Earth, how to improve at Minecraft Earth quickly, and all other things regarding Minecraft Earth, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. All you must do is click this card right here. And if you want to see another video of mine, where I go over how to play Minecraft Earth, you can just click this card. But that is all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.